Hey, yeah, in my last video, I talked about how I could go through all the combinations and I would go to um, one letter or number, turn it all the way around, and then I would try something and then try something else without resetting the whole thing, and it was faster. How did I know that I didn't have to start all over again for each sequence? When we turn turn this several times to the right to reset it, you can see it's driving the third wheel only and if I turn it around those two bumps catch each other and then it drives the second wheel and keep on turning and the bumps will catch and it will drive the first wheel. So all three wheels are turning and that's why you have to, before you start dialing in your combination, you have to turn several times so that all the wheels catch and you can drive all three wheels. The third wheel drives the second wheel and the second wheel drives the first wheel. So the first wheel we're going to go until it lines up with that tooth. That tooth needs to go down into the gap to open so we keep on turning it around until the first wheel goes to the gap and that's at about two or three and then we turn it the opposite way one full revolution and the reason why we do that is because it's only driving the third wheel at the moment I have to go all the way around until these bumps catch and just there it's catching the second wheel and we push the second wheel over and we look down you can see when I'm turning this the the, the, um, the, the first wheel is fixed, it's not moving and I'm driving the second wheel around, around, around until we see okay and it's in a gap there and that's at about I don't know 14 or something and then when I turn it again to the right you can see it's only the third wheel that's moving and I move the third wheel into position and you can see now all three gaps line up the tooth can go down and the shack can open and so that's what happens when you set the combination and so that was at about one now with the last number the third wheel if I was going back to one and I overshot the mark I know I can go back to one again because I'm only driving the third wheel so if I overshoot I can always go back again okay I'm going to reset this so that all the wheels are catching I'm going to go back to our first number I'm going to assume I know the last number the third number is one okay and I'm going to say that I'm going to start on 3 which should be our, our gap on the first wheel and it is and so I do one full revolution around you can see it's going around and it starts driving the second wheel then this is done one full revolution what, what happens if I try instead of 14 or 15 or whatever it was, what if I try 5 and then go back to 1 when I move it back to 1 you can see it's only the third wheel that's moving and I can I can test the shackle, the lock doesn't open now instead of starting all over again I can I can just go on to my next number if I'm doing every second number I could go to 7 and then 9 and I know this because the second wheel hasn't moved it's still set on 5 until I move it past 5 to 7 you can see it's inching that second wheel over slightly and then I can go back to 1 test the shackle and then go to 9 go back to 1 test the shackle so what this is doing it's testing the combination 351, 371, 391 and I know I don't need to start all the way 
at the beginning again because the second wheel is where I put it here and when I turn it back it's only the third wheel that's moving and so it's not messing things up so I know this is still on 9 so I know that if I go to 11 it'll just inch that second wheel over to 11 and then when I go back to 1 it's only the third wheel that's moving and so therefore I can it's a much faster method if I just if I just try that I start on 3 and then I'd go 3, 5, 1, 3, 7, 1, 3, 9, 1, 3, 11, 1, and so on and so on until I get to the 15 or whatever it was and then back to 1 and then all three have lined up. For the third wheel I also know if I'm doing it fast and I overshoot the mark I can always go back to 1 and it won't mess things up because as you can see it's only driving the third wheel. Everything I'm telling you here is true as long as I don't go too far. If I don't go to the 360 degrees right round then it works. So I can overshoot the mark for the third wheel. I can't overshoot the mark for anything else though. If I go to, um, I said I was going to three didn't I? What happens, okay so I've gone to about three there and the gap is lined up with the tooth. What happens if I actually overshot the mark and I went to zero? I want to turn back, but if I turn back, it's only the third wheel that's moving, so I can't go back. I have to start again. And it's the same with the second wheel. If I go to three, right round, and if I wanted to if I've tested, if I want to test 5 but I actually over, overshot to 7, going back won't do anything because it's only moving the third wheel. So I'd need to start again. But for the third wheel, for the last number, I can overshoot the mark and correct myself. So anyway, this is what's going on inside the lock. One more thing I want to show you. With all these locks, you can do it the opposite way but it'll be a different combination. I mean I can turn it this way several times so that all, all of them are turning. Go to some number, then backwards, one full revolution, set to another number, and then back to the third number is always going to be the same. And I said that was one, didn't I? So it'll be a different combination. And if we spy here, so instead of turning it this way several times, I said I was going to turn this way several times, didn't I? Until they're all moving like so. And then I'm going to go to the gap. Okay, so the first number doing the opposite way is 34. Turning at one full revolution until it catches. Second number is 20, and then I'm turning it just the third number around, and then again it's 1. So that's a combination of doing it the other way. And when you're picking locks, these type of locks where you, try, where you know the last number and you're trying every single combination, you can do it this way to start with, or the opposite way, and if sometimes one way works easier than the other to get it open. Okay, that's everything I wanted to show you about this one. Thanks.